Well, as you guys know, we are currently in a recession or going into a recession, depending on what definition you're gonna use. <laughs> but nothing tells you exactly, exactly where we are right now when it comes to our economy than people overspending on cars, guys. <laughs> That's right, you know, the crazy car market that was going up, up, and up, and now it's seeing a crash. The used car market, and now we have this crazy trend of people showing you that they overpay in monthly payments on their cars. I, I, I mean, where, I don't know. I don't know where this came from, why you would want to brag about overpaying for a depreciating asset. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. I don't know where that is, but I would guess someone who would brag about this would have ample amount of money. And listen guys, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear anybody in my comic section talking about they should be overpaid or they see no problem with overpaying on these depreciating assets, used cars, new cars, cars in general, and getting a loan on this, but then also complaining, also complaining about not finding a home that's affordable. When you're overpaying for these overpriced cars, when you look at these monthly payments, guys, these are mortgage payments. Let's take a look at exhibit A here. How much is your car payment? Big boy edition, part two. Now, I would show you the video, but I'm positive that YouTube will copyright strike me <laughs> because there's music playing in the background, but we can get the gist of it, guys. Let's take a look at here. This gentleman here has a first car payment. That's right, he has two car payments that he's bragging about. So we have $1,325 is the first one, and then $1,000 is the second one. Mm -mm -mm. What is that? That's a grand total of $2325. Hmm, that sounds like a good mortgage. But let's take a look at exactly what he's paying for. The first large payment that we hear about is for a 2022 Ford Raptor, which the dealer employee pays $13.25 to own per month. I mean, <laughs> that sounds a little rich, but the question is, why would you brag about it? Stop it. Get some help. But then let's take a look at the second one. The same employee pays $1,000 a month for an expedition. Mmm, gotta have that room for the family. You know, <laughs> oh boy. He got cooked. And you know, this sounds all good. You know, you like, you get the car, you're probably living in an apartment, you know, you, you're just living life, right? You get to have the nice car. Like I said, you're living in an apartment, which is the worst thing you can do, guys. Awkward. So awkward. I know what you guys are saying. Orlando, hey, let the people live. If they want to buy a overpriced car and pay monthly payments, hey, you only live once, right? Ah, but that's not really the point of the, of the video. The video isn't about living life and doing, buying the most expensive car that you all, all want. The point of the video is to kind of show you exactly where the extremes were which is right now when someone's paying $2,300 for two cars and you know, they're living in an apartment. Do this, I'm gonna be so stupid. That this is the extreme. And then now let's look at the other extreme of what's actually happening in the market. So we see here, car possessions are on the rise in a warning sign for the economy. See it ain't so. <laughs> Look, I couldn't make this up. We, I just showed you someone paying ridiculous amounts for a car that is going to depreciate and paying ridiculously high interest rates, ridiculously high monthly payments, living in an apartment, and then all of a sudden, we have car repossessions are on the rise. Who saw that coming? Mm, mm, mm. You know, when there's smoke, there's fire. It's really simple, guys. With the money that was available during the pandemic and, and money being shoved to each corner, to each individual. I'm paid, I'm paid in shame. We saw a lot of people have money in their pockets. And this is the reason why I say to you guys, take that money, put it in your pockets, put it in the savings account, have your emergency savings fund. Do not spend your money on these cars that depreciate as soon as you leave the lot.
Why are you buying these expensive cars and then you're wondering why you can't get approved for a loan to buy a house? You're wondering why your DTI is so high. I'm nice in the room. Imagine what the DTI is for these guys. The funny thing with these guys here, these look like car dealers, right? When everything was going great and when people were buying cars and you could sell them at full price, what were these guys? They were making commission hand over fist. But as the market goes down, will they still be able to make those car payments? Uh, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> And now you have a guy with a Ford Raptor that only got to drive it for six to seven months because now it's in repossession. Are you kidding me? Because he couldn't afford it to begin with. And we couldn't talk about people getting cars without them getting the loans, right? But let's take a look of what's happening with the loans. Auto loan delinquency rise as loan accommodation programs end. What? <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? So you're telling me that they won't be able to sell cars as fast, the value of cars are going down, and loan delinquencies are going up because you did no underwriting for the cars? Oh, no, come on, oh. Bro, come on! I feel like we've seen this somewhere. Where have we seen this thing happen again? If I could only go back in time and look at something that would show me that the car industry was kind of going through turmoil as a recession was about to come. Man, only if I could, if it, only if it was at my, at the edge of my fingertips, if I could search, you know, some database. <laughs> <laughs> the growing percentage of Americans with auto loans are struggling to make their monthly payments. Subprime bars in particular are feeling the impact for higher prices for both new and used vehicles. Mm, mm, mm. Remember I was telling you guys, the Fed wants you to stop spending money, but credit card companies, credit companies, banks are giving these loans out with little to no underwriting, hence the subprime loans. <laughs> And then now it's coming back to bite people when they're losing their jobs, when they realize they can't make those payments anymore, when other things come up and things are tightening like they are now. Now what's the first thing to go when someone decides they can't make payments? Oh, that car loan on that Raptor, on that Expedition, on that Hellcat is going to go into repossession. And we're starting to see that. Let's get back, cause we're not done with the stupidity. Cause that's what it is. It is stupidity on spending ridiculous amounts of money on cars. So we have exhibit number two. How much is your car payment, big boy edition? Hers is 1386. That seems really high. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, what is she driving? I mean, is she driving a Bentley or something? What are you driving? $1,500 basically. Let's take a look and see what she is driving. It says here, 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer Series 3 which totals $13.86 per month. As bad as it sounds, it is important to remember that the range topping Grand Wagoneer carries a starting price of $110,000. Well, I really don't care. I think that is way too much to begin with. Now remember guys, we are giving examples of how you can tell when the market is going to the trash, right? We, the market is going, the economy is going in that direction. And these are just some, you know, some red flags that I'm just trying to present you to show you that when people were in a good position, they overspent. When people were had enough extra money, instead of saving it, they spent it. Sensational. And this is a prime, prime, prime example of spending your money somewhere that you should not spend your money into these depreciating assets, guys. I will never, you hear this? I will never say you should buy. You should buy the most expensive car that you possibly can at the top of the top of the top of your income level just to get in debt on this depreciating asset, AKA a car, an automobile. I will never say that. Do you hear me? Never ever. If anything, I would say pay it off to begin with. That's what I would say, but not everyone can do that. But not everyone 
should go to the top of their income bracket and buy the most expensive car and pay $1,400 per month for a Jeep grand. But let's take a look at the last and final <laughs> craziness that we see here. We have the guy who takes the cake. He wants to be number one in paying the most that he possibly can pay when it comes to his car. That's stupid. Use your common sense. How much is your car payment? And his car payment is 15, 16. And you would ask yourself, what type of car does he have to pay that much in a car payment? Well, I'm glad you asked. He has a 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat. Why? A wide body. Uh, got, got us put that in. The wide body. The Hellcat was actually one of the cheaper cars on the list. When it was new, carrying a original MSRP of 75,820. But somehow, this guy got into the worst financing deal he possibly could. And you gotta remember guys, this guy is a car dealership. So do you want this guy working on your deal? He's gonna get you into a, um, a Dodge Caravan and you're gonna be paying $2,000 a month. <laughs> this is the stuff I'm talking about guys. And this is the reason why it's so important. But hey, look, he wants to show you guys that he was not making this up. So he did a close up on his payment coupon to brag about how much he's paying and to show you proof and here it is. Look, he's showing you the coupon, guys. See right here? Look, the arrow pointing right here. I'm having a pointing right here. Circle it, right? It says 15, 16, 22. And he's telling you guys, look, I'm paying this much and I'm happy, right? And I just don't know where we have gone. And this is the thing. When you have people, when you have people online bragging about how much they pay in a car, how much their monthly payment is saying, Hey, look, guys, I pay $2,000 a month. I pay $1,500, $1,400. The one guy doubled up. When you have people bragging online, trying to tell you they're paying ridiculously high interest rate on ridiculously priced cars, you know we are going into the depth of the recession, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are going that we know exactly where our economy falling off of a cliff when people are bragging and then you turn around and like I showed you guys earlier the proof that repossessions are going up the proof that auto loan delinquencies are going up a lot of these type of customers a lot of these people who bought into this crazy auto market at the highest at the highest interest rate at the highest of everything and they're spending that much money on their car and then they wonder to themselves, you know what, I'm gonna let it go. That is the reason why the used car market is piling up with a bunch of cars. And we got end up getting here, guys, where it says here, that headline that I just saw is used car prices expected to drop 20% in 2013. Mm, mm, mm. So not only, <laughs> look guys, not only did you buy a Hellcat and lost money when you drove off the lot, not only are you paying a high interest rate, not only did you buy it at the highest price that you possibly could, no! but now you're gonna lose an additional 20% in one year on the car? Mm, 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 mm. So now his Hellcat will be worth 20, maybe 30, 40,000 dollars, and he paid 75, mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna even do the math. You guys can do the math. You just know that it's a horrible deal, guys. But anyway, guys, like I always say, by just watching this one video, you won't get all of your financial news, you won't get what's going on with the housing market, or even get into your first rental property off of this one video. I need you to watch this video here. I promise you, it will give you more information of exactly what you need. I will see you on the next one. Thanks.